Hello there, I'm Richard Hurstwood, and what I want to show you is the Philips Hue lighting. Some of you have got classrooms, some of you have got sensory rooms and spaces where it would be really nice to change the colour. It's always been really expensive to do that, but these new lights, pretty affordable, maybe we'd say they're expensive, around, well, under £200, but they are wonderful things, and they're controlled by an iPad or an Android device. In the box you get three lamps and you get a base station which needs to be plugged into the Wi-Fi. You need to connect the hub via the Cat5 cable that's supplied in here. The hub is the little white round thing you can see there. And that needs to plug into your router. Or, so if you're with BT or something like that in the UK, you plug it in via a cable there. And you're also going to need a main supply close by as well because you need to actually plug the hub in. Now this is really easy to work and the instructions are really funky as well. There's only three steps you need to do to get the whole thing working and it has brilliant control. So let's have a look. Screw in your hue bulbs and turn on your wall light switches. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. I've got some of those big light shades from Ikea, these, and I've got some uh, lamps in there at the moment, this Philips screw fitting. So the hue lamps are going to go straight into it. So all you do, take out your existing lamps, which for me was a bit of a struggle, and then get your hue lamp and just replace it. Pop it in there, then the instructions tell you to switch it on. Don't forget to switch it off, by the way, before you replace your lamp. There you go, looks like an ordinary lamp at the moment, but this is when the magic starts. Next in the installation, you plug in the base station to your router, and then you download the app to your Nexus 7 or your iPad or whatever, and then fire it up. Press the link button and your lamps will connect. It's really, really that easy. And here's the app, which is amazing. Now from the app itself, you can just choose different scenes. Here I'm on an iPad mini, and uh, you can see that I'm just changing the color of the light by changing the scene in the app. You can do this remotely as well. You don't have to be in the same room. Uh, apparently, you can be somewhere else completely and control the lighting in your house. That's really handy if you're going on holiday. Now, you can get any color you want, millions of colors allegedly, so you can change it to any color you like. And the three lamps, I've got one in the hall, I've got one in the lounge, and I've got one up on the stairs as well. So with the app, you can control them individually. As I'm doing here, you can see the one upstairs is changing, just changing color there. And the one downstairs, I'm keeping on a purple. Then again, if I want to change the one downstairs and leave the one upstairs, I can do that. If I want to change them all together, I can do that as well. This is really flexible and it's brilliant fun. You may say to yourself, what's the application for this? Well, firstly, the reason why I like this is because it is literally changing a lamp. All you're doing is replacing your present lamps. Um, the, the, the reason why I may want to use this is because I might want to create a space in a classroom just with a calming blue or purple on or an invigorating red or something like that. And of course, the application in sensory rooms, well, it speaks for itself. It's pretty cheap. Right, let's take a look at the app. It works on both the, well, I've got it here on a Nexus 7 and on an iPad mini. I will say, however, it looks a lot nicer on the Nexus, but it has its little problems. This has got a really interesting control system. Let's click on the Hue app and you can see it there. We're running this on a Nexus 7, but it's the same on the iPad. Now, if I press one of those scenes, you'll see that the lights just go on and match the color of the scene. I'll show you how that works. So if you want to edit a scene, you click on the little pencil there, there it is, and um, you can see one, two, and three, those little dots, those are little indicators for your lamps. So lamp number one, lamp number two, and lamp number three, which is your, your lounge, your whatever you've set them up as. So I want number three red, number two, I want lamp number two to go purple, and I want lamp number one, let's just shift this down into... Uh, where should we have that? Yay, a bit of green, I think. So now I'll have a red, a purple, and a green lamp. It's easy. Now, obviously, what I can do now is save that, and if I want to, I'll just press save. But if not, on Android, it's a little bit awkward, actually. It's easier on the iPad. On Android, you have to press the back button. That's the button which is just down the bottom here. 
and then those settings won't be saved. So it's just set up the way it was before. On uh, iOS, it's easier. There's a cancel button at the top, top left there, just poked it, and you can just cancel that so it's not going to save it. Creating your own is quite easy. All you need to do is select a picture from your photo library or take a picture with the camera. I tried that on my Nexus 7 and it said that. <laughs> Now I did download a couple of camera apps and uh, open them up before putting the hue on but it, it still didn't crack it so if anybody knows the answer to that put a comment in. Let's give it a go on the iPad mini then. So I've brought up the new uh, box and press camera and yay the camera fires up. So here we go I've got my favourite book of surfing handy when you live in Lancashire and uh, I'll just take a photograph of the front cover because I like the orange on this and I'd like to be able to make me lighting go orange. So there it is right let's get rid of the book and I need to tell it which lamps I want to include in this scene. And I can then just assign the colours as I want to each one. Then we'll press uh, save and then enter a name. Then it pops up on the top left there. Uh, if I want to edit it, I can just go back into it via the little pencil there. Oops, just give that another go. There we go. And then I can move my lamps around so I can get my colours right. So you can photograph anything you want. Uh, it's really, really clever. So there it is, the Philips Hue Lighting. Um, not the cheapest thing. At the moment, it's £180 from Apple in the UK. Uh, you can't get it anywhere else. Uh, I believe in the US you can buy it wherever you want. And no doubt that'll be the case uh, over here at some point. I like it. Three lamps for £180. Sounds like a lot of money. Your extra lamps are £50 each. Uh, and again, it does sound like a lot of money. But you know, it saves you on installation. It it saves you a lot of hassle and the control is really, really simple. So in a way, you're paying a little bit for ease of use, but I tell you what, it's well worth it and it's very, very effective. So if you want to create a little space just with a single lamp or you want to have just a, a nice area in your sensory room or in fact you want to light your whole sensory room then uh, it's pretty easy to do with the Philips Hue and uh, as I say good value for money and I think it's gorgeous. <laughs>